this kind of a very specific element of a kind of a criminal code is quite unusual. The Constitution specifically defines what treason is, which is uh, making war against the United States or giving aid and comfort to our enemies, and it actually has a procedural element that treason has to be proven uh, by, the, wit by uh, the statements of two witnesses to an overt act or a confession. And so it is interesting the Constitution gives that much detail to treason. It is an unusual vision of the Constitution that it defines specific crime. Normally, uh, in this area, the Constitution either gives power, say, to Congress to pass laws, including to define crimes, or deny certain powers. Uh, to Congress or to the President or the Judiciary. This kind of a very specific element of a kind of a criminal code is quite unusual. I think it's because treason is a unique crime. It is, a, it is the crime that is most a crime against the state. And I think there may have been some concern that in English history, and a lot of the Constitution was written against the background of English history, uh, treason may have been abused as a way of getting at the king's enemies. And so I think the, the special requirements of proof and the specific definition of treason about, giving, about making war against the country, giving aid and comfort to the enemy, I think was a way of narrowing the definition of what treason is.